Hey guys, Crypto Mike here with the Mike Check 1212. Is this thing on? Please hit the thumbs up, the subscribe button, and the notification bell right down there. I'll give you three seconds. Three, two, and one. Now, please also check out the link down there in the description. Download the Brave browser. All right, it's a great browser for privacy. All right, you want receive ads if you don't want to. You can opt out of receiving ads they won't bombard you with ads. It's really nice, actually. Ad-free YouTube viewing, things like that. Now, if you want to opt in for seeing ads, it's very simple. On my mobile phone, I opt in, and all I get are these little notifications here. All I do is swipe them, and I don't even have to read it, but I earn basic attention token for each one. It's pretty cool. And then you can also, you have the option to support your favorite uh, content creators or websites that you browse. Uh, you can do auto support. There's a lot of options. It's pretty cool. Go check out the link down there in the description. You can also support my channel by downloading the link, simply downloading it, opening it up, and just having it on your phone, earning best attention token. I get a little bit of commission for you downloading that. So I appreciate that if you want to try it out. So let's go on to the topic. All right. So first of all, the market's kind of down today. Uh, I'll show you this right here. These are the coins I'm interested in lately, uh, the ones that I own and mostly down. But I think that's OK. You know, I think that's OK. We're still XRP is still following its trend. All right. It's still following the trend we've been watching really closely. Look at that double bottom, guys. I see something here and I see. I see a double bottom. All right. Now, let me tell you something. I've been informed and uh, I hate that. <laughs> I'm not trying to say I, I know a little birdie or any anything because I don't, you know, but I have been told by someone who he doesn't. He is very uh, informative. He does know a lot that I happen to kind of know, but he really explained it very well. He seems to be very knowledgeable about what's going on. He told me once the S&P 500 hits 3,300, that's it. That was the, the signal. That was the trigger. Um, so we're going to have to watch the SPX. We're going to have to watch gold and we're going to have to watch Bitcoin and see what happens in the next few days, the next week or so. Whoops. There we go. It's still recording. All right. And um, apparently, OK, just according to one person, I'm not saying this is, you know, legit. I'm not saying it's legit, but it's just from one person, one source. It's go time. And now I know there's a lot of sources out there saying that, but this is kind of he told me a while ago, once SPX hits 3300 and it just did yesterday, once it hits 33. OK, that's it. Now, another thing is that during the crash of 2008, it hit 66. 6600 or or $666. And that was the trigger for the crash, right? So now it's five times as high, but it hit 3300 That was supposedly the key number. All right, now let's go to Twitter. There's a, there's a lot of good stuff today. Um, things are rolling along, rolling along nicely. Follow me on Twitter as well. The link is in the description down there. Um, also do crypto stuff here. Okay. Now what I think guys, what I think is that it is awfully strange and you guys, uh, you probably subscribe to my channel because of my, my more outlandish views that, that I'm able to legitimize in a certain way. Right. Um, and a lot of them have kind of come true, you know, to be honest. So, uh, I think this coronavirus is oddly timed. Why did it happen right after our new year and right into the Chinese new year? It's weird. And, and with the U.S. and China signing this huge trade deal at the same exact time, why is all the focus on China right now? And guess what? There are people coming over and getting quarantined in America. There are cases of this in America now. There's one in LAX and I saw there's one in on the East Coast. If it spreads here in America, they will close the entry ports to our country 
business will get shut down in many areas, okay? If you can't bring in cargo, if you can't bring in merch, you can't bring in imports, whatever. You know, if they close down ports of entry, the economy will plummet. You know, temporarily, I don't know, but this could be the catalyst, guys. That's all I'm saying. Okay, this could be our Black Swan event. All right, now what, what would be there to save the day? Crypto, XRP, namely. Okay, now, oh, by the way, Hotbit is my new favorite exchange. I like it a lot. Uh, you know, the, these coins that I've been, it's been hard for me to buy them. Flexicoin just got listed. Um, Zinfin is on there. Reserve Right is on there. There's a bunch of others too. Um, they have, and I just noticed too, it's really interesting. But look, this is Hotbit. Hotbit is ranked number five as far as volume on exchanges on CoinMarketCap. So it is liquid. It's a good, you know, there's a lot of markets on it. 583 different coins and pairings, okay? So they're well above um, Binance, which is down here. Binance is, where's Binance? Oh, I am passed it. It's right here, 28. Anyways, check out Hotbit. Um, I like it. I'm not, not trying to promote it. I'm just letting you guys know. I know there's a lot of people who watch my channel who um, are asking, they're always asking me, mm -hmm. how do I buy Flexicoin. How do I buy Zenfin? How do I buy reserve rights? Where do I go? I used to say go to IDEX, but we can't do that in the US anymore. Um, so anyways. Okay, so uh, now I want you to see this one. Um, I just got, I want you to remember this, okay? I just want you to remember this. This is the Minister of Finance for Somalia. He stated, this was a, six months ago maybe, at an IMF forum. This is a Minister of Finance for Somalia who stated that he was working closely within compliance of the IMF's requirements to cancel, quote, cancel debt of Somalia. And he said it was going to happen in February. Um, and then he caught himself sharply. He said, cancel or or I, I do something, you know, he, he didn't mean to say cancel. He, it was obvious. And I'm going to show you the clip right now. I'll show you this clip. Nope. It was obvious he did not mean to say it and he caught himself, but it was too late. He said it. So check it out. Let's start a little... Sustain, can be sustained. We have now established our institutions. We today, every ministry has a house, a place, an office. Every ministry has some staff. Every ministry has some budget. And therefore, we look like a nation. We look like a nation that came from the dust uh, just a few years ago. Uh, we have been doing uh, the uh, benchmarks of the IMF uh, staff military program for those number of years. And, and we are concluding the first part important part of the S&P 4 uh, UTC uh, compliant uh, regula uh, uh, com compliant uh, uh, S&P program by the end of this year. And we hope and we are hoping and we're all working together from the president on down uh, to be able to reach a decision point. You know what a decision point means. It is very important that we reach that. That means that it is a day uh, our creditors and our, and our partners will decide uh, that Somalia has traveled enough and therefore we sit down and talk about canceling the debt, do, uh, managing the debt, doing something with the debt. And that is February next year is what, what we have, what we have decided now. Uh, <clears throat> <laughs> okay. So you can see, he looked around, he kind of said, he caught himself and he realized what kind of maybe what kind of talking to he might get after that uh, speech. Um, because the, obviously he was not supposed to say that now. He was supposed to keep that under wraps, just like all the other nations. Imagine all, imagine any other nation that is working in compliance with the IMF with their debt canceling program that is going to happen in February. Okay, this is all coming together very nicely, guys. Check it out. Now, I one thing that comes into mind is XRP. 
That's going to be one of the main things with on-demand liquidity. They talked about it. They talked about it over and over at Davos just a few days ago. All right. We're, now we're seeing this big news about the Ripple IPO. That's just, honestly, it's just to get Ripple out more in the open, to get more people talking about it. But the attention, okay, um, it, it's just, you know, it, it's just a, a distraction, honestly. It really is just a distraction from this whole reset. This whole reset's really happening. Um, it, it might also be a last chance kind of thing for people to get their eyes on Ripple and maybe, I don't know, maybe they're giving people a chance to maybe pick up some XRP before something big happens with it. You know, and I'm not saying anything will. I'm not saying, I know there's been a lot of negative sentiment in the market lately. People really getting angry. I mean, I've gotten some very, um, very just straightforward hateful comments towards me, towards me for giving predictions. You know, I, um, I typically don't try to give pr predictions. Um, and I wouldn't even call it giving predictions, but I get excited when I think something's going to happen. Now I, I, I did my last video. I did say, I think something's going to happen on the 23rd because, Hey, I mean, Garland house spoke, Mnuchin spoke, Lagarde spoke, at Davos, you know, and there was a lot of talk about cross-border remittances. I thought something was going to happen. However, I might have been misled into thinking that January 23rd was, one, two, three was January 23rd. All right. Now, honestly, guys, I'm, I'm still holding on to my February 14th prediction because that seems to be the only date Okay, that bearable guy has ever really given us, right? Zenobio told me about that and I was like, whoa, you're right. I haven't seen any other dates regarding bearable guys. Now we see that there's a one-year delta, okay? And I want to show you this one that he posted about a year ago. This one right here. Simply a picture of a mic and a lot of people being extremely happy just very happy pleasantly surprised just happy smiling laughing and this was on january 30th of 2019 almost a whole year ago so if something happens on january 30th or january 31st what do you well what's happening well we have brexit right we have brexit um and then you know we have the u.s china trade deal coming um February 14th. Okay. So those are, these are things that I'm paying attention to and I could care less about people, you know, not believing the Riddlers or whatever. I don't care. I'm, you know, I'm not a Riddler. I'm, but I do try to decode these things and I enjoy doing it. And you know, you guys do too, or you wouldn't be watching my channel. You know, um, we already know XRP is going to do something right while we wait. I mean, why not have a little fun and try to figure out what it's going to do and when it's going to do it? If these might be legit insiders who do know things, they're very mysterious. They do. Who knows? They, they might throw wrenches out there in the clanks. You know, they might, they might just kind of be trying to throw us off here and there once in a while. That's kind of that's what Q does, too. And by the way, we have Q info, too. Now, I do think there's going to be an announcement on January 30th. Or sometime around there, we'll see. And that will definitely confirm the one year delta, okay? The difference between these posts and the time that they happen. One year, exactly. We'll find out. That's what happened with Bearable Guy's calendar, February 14th, okay? Let me show you the picture. Uh, let's see. Actually, I'm not, but he did cross out a lot of on his calendar in his Christmas puzzle. He did, he crossed out all the days up to the 14th and then he had a heart on the 14th of february okay and it said 14 and then in his his other picture um it said so be it or so it begins so it begins and that is in the phoenix section give me a sec should be right up in here somewhere 
Okay, so he did cross these off right here, and then he put the heart on February 14th. All right? So I don't know what's going to happen February 14th. Maybe nothing will happen with the price. I don't know. But I think something will happen. Okay. Um, the pst, boom. Well, boom. I think, you know, Trump blasting Soleimani to bits. Blasting a terrorist and creating a World War III scare. That could have been part of what this is talking about. Also, P, boom. The capital letters in this are... QAnon in Gematria. Um, also, you guys at Davos, they had a jester hat in the background. All right. This could be a very, very big, bigger than we think kind of effort to kind of let us in on what they're doing. I mean, that's what the elite do, right? Apparently, they have to let the public in on what they're going to do before they do it. And that's that's their code of uh, ethics, you know. They can do whatever they want, but they got to let the people know. They have to put it, hide it in plain sight at least. And Bearable Guy is a great way to do that, you know. Um, so, I don't have that one. I don't have that one here. Um, it's okay. Anyways, um, you guys probably, most of you know about that. Most of you probably know about that um, mountain picture. It's not here. It's okay. By the way, guys, if XRP really truly does tap into the derivatives market, it's on quadrillions of dollars in the derivatives market, guys. Okay. Oh, here it is. Good. Found it. Okay, this is the so it begins um, puzzle, all right, that he gave us. I believe so it begins. Well, what begins? Brexit, okay? The beginning of a massive trade deal. This would be first, the first of, obviously, we know this is February 14th, okay? This is the first of February, the second, the third. The 4th, the 5th, the 6th, the 7th, and then it goes 8th through 13th, and then it hits 14, and it ends there. So it begins in February, and what happens on the 14th? I don't know, but that's where this ends. Maybe something big is going to happen, and I still have that faith. Um, I'm going to get a lot of hateful comments, and, you know, um, I'm going to actually take Bearable Guy's advice, you know, um, which is part of why I like him a lot because he gives very good advice here when he says in the background of this whole puzzle here, keep calm and ignore negative people. Like he knew this was all coming, right? Like he already knew. Interesting, right? I mean, I swear he knows. It's like he has, if you believe in Project Looking Glass, which is getting more and more credibility, you know, as the days go by because Q is exposing so much. Um, and that was one of his posts a few months ago, Project Looking Glass. So a lot of the community has been exploring that and there is a crazy amount of suppressed technology that they're able to use. Life is exactly the opposite of what most people know it as. We are so restricted compared to what is really out there for us to explore. Um, so anyways, keep calm and ignore negative people, you guys. Okay. So, um, now one, one thing that's really, really fun and, uh, fun to do is follow these restored Republic global currency reset reports because they're becoming more and more of a real thing. Okay. It's following everything we follow. We follow so many different sources, but they're putting it together very nicely here. Now, they don't include Ripple in this. Um, I don't know. You know, I'm, I'm thinking XRP must have a plan to restore liquidity to the world with their on-demand liquidity um, rebranding and all that. And with the IMF, with them all talking about cross-border remittances they were in the World Economic Forum's guidelines or, you know, their uh, little manual or whatever 
They mentioned Ripple and XRP, along with JP Morgan's crypt cryptocurrency. They mentioned Ripple XRP by name. Okay, we're getting very we're getting closer and closer. Okay, now would they mention XRP by name? They haven't mentioned it in like they haven't mentioned XRP in like much at all. Now they're starting to actually mention it. Maybe we're getting very close. Maybe maybe that was a little warning to maybe here XRP get in on it. You know, check it out. You're not going to have long. I don't know. You know, I could be wrong. It could be years, but I just hope, you know, that's all. Now, listen to this. On the same Friday, January 24th, the International Monetary Fund meetings in Davos, Switzerland, concluded after developing guidelines for a global monetary policy on digital and gold-backed currency. By Friday, 31st of January, the center of the cabal banking system, which is the central bankers, U.S. Incorporated, would be officially bankrupt. That would pave the way for a February stock market crash, unless the IMF soon announced a global currency reset for global asset-backed currencies of 209 countries. That would be the Jasara law. If, oh, in the U.S., the Federal Reserve was expected to undergo reforms so as to implement an asset-backed currency. While this just past week in Russia, Japan, and Turkey, they were preparing for the global reset <clears throat> Russia and Japan nationalized their banks and kicked out the cabal central banks while banks in Turkey were switching to a digital gold transfer system. All right. It's all coming together like we've been talking about. It's coming together nicely. Nicely. I mean, it is beautiful. It's, all, it's almost overwhelming. It's all happening all at once. You know? Also on Friday, January 24th, Fox News interview that was supposed to be about Trump's impeachment trial, lawyer Rudy Giuliani exposed a mass media cover-up of Democrat crimes that centered on former VP Joe Biden. Giuliani claimed that this NetSuite's presentations uh, before the Senate would name a multitude of top-level elites destined for criminal investigation. According to military intel, as Tier 3 and Tier 4 liquidity was released, many World Court-ordered Jasara-required arrests of political elites would take place, with even more mass arrests now scheduled for after the 2020 elections. On, 20, on January 23rd, Q declared the White House clean of cabalists. January 24th. 2020 morning chat with Mark Z. The fiat market has been topping off for some time, though investors do sell at some point. Gold is a great stabilizer for the system and was being bought up by investors. So we're going to have to watch the gold closing price on Sunday. Okay, we'll have to see what happens. If it's up, it's a good sign. There were unconfirmed reports of C CMKJ. I don't know what that is. Contacts in Hong Kong and Zurich were saying that today was our day. This was rolling out. The bankers felt we were in an any moment type of situation. Any moment, this could happen. The Vatican Bank was now pretty much shut down. It had over 5,000 accounts for politicians with billions of dollars in them that was assumed to use as blackmail. Today, Rudy Giuliani was naming many corrupt politicians' names in the impeachment hearings. Putin has been working with Interpol and the World Court for a very long time exposing Clinton and political elite crimes. You tell, I'm telling you, everyone thinks he's a bad guy. Everyone thinks Russia's, a, you know, and it's a gray area, of course. It's not black and white. He's not good or bad, but he's against the Clinton Foundation and their crimes. So that's a good thing for, for us people. It really is. They had Biden for bribery well before he became vice president. They're allowing the high profile criminals to walk around so they can obtain more testimony against them for the crimes. They have to do it right. They have to do it right because they only get one shot at doing this. Epstein was the machinery that kept the bad guys, including bankers, in line. And he wasn't the only one. He was never going to be prosecuted because the judges were corrupt. Bloomberg was tied to Bush Sr. and received most of his dirty money from the Bank of America. 
Operation Disclosure. D-Class was occurring in a slow drip manner, which would eventually become a flood. Or in other words, a mass unsealing of indictments. There's a hundred, like 140,000 indictments, sealed indictments. The most ever in history, ever, by a long shot. The storm, the storm, President Trump mentioned years ago was about to occur. President Trump was expected to nominate Judy Shelton and Chris Waller to fill positions in the Federal Reserve. Judy Shelton was known to be a supporter of the gold standard. Now guys, even if they don't name XRP, they're not gonna back it. I'm pretty, actually pretty certain now, it doesn't make sense for them to back XRP by gold. That really doesn't make sense. Um, unless they're completely using it for something way different than Ripple's telling us that they're gonna use it for. They might just be misleading us, I don't know. However, I don't think they would. What they really wanna do is let XRP be utilized and drive the value by utility. And therefore, it would be a juggernaut of utility. It would be a juggernaut of value. I mean, it would be such a valuable tool to the banking world, right? To this new banking world, this new quantum financial system, right? As the bridge currency could even be declared some kind of uh, reserve currency or something. You know, it could have something to do, maybe fractionally backed off gold. I don't know, but it's something big's happening. Okay, I can't stress that enough. The Federal Reserve was expected to undergo reforms toward imp implementing an asset-backed monetary system rather than be abolished. Okay, that was the end of the Fed as we knew it, right? That's how I see it. The Federal Reserve wasn't gonna just go away. However, they were gonna reform. Russian President Vladimir Putin was pushing to extend his presidency a little longer to ensure Russia made it through the upcoming global financial transition though was receiving public backlash for his push to extend his presidency. Putin said in a recent speech, quote, we will be able to build a strong, prosperous Russia only on the basis of respect for public opinion. I mean, I hate to say it, but that's something that I, I would like my leader to tell me. Okay, that's a very nice thing for our leader to say. Um, and not just a nice thing, but it, it, it is telling. It says he, he, he's telling you he cares. I'm not trying to defend Putin or nothing, but these pieces are all coming together. It makes a lot of sense, okay? And I've heard people who live over there, they're saying, N you're correct, Mike. Putin, she, Trump are doing everything they can, and they're, doing, they're winning, they're succeeding at fighting off this globalized structure that that you know the deep state the establishment has been building for years and, and decades and centuries they've been working on this globalized globalization you know um which is doesn't benefit us average people okay that's where we have the the wage gap and that's where we have the class the what the class gap okay it benefits the ones at the top and it puts us into lower class and it cuts out the middle class there's like no middle class anymore, basically, right? So that's what globalization does. The quantum financial system would act as an essential tool for the new gold asset-backed monetary system and handle all payments for the upcoming redemption of currencies. The X-22 report, check it out. Brexit has crossed the finish line. It's been... 1,309 days since the Brexit vote and Boris Johnson finally did it. The economic system was starting to take shape. Trump and the Patriots were ready to make a trade deal that would change everything. The EU was stuck. Uh, this is speaking in future tense, it seems. They can't raise rates nor stop stimulus. It seemed that Trump was backing the central bank establishment into a corner. The Dems were continuing with the fake impeachment. The people were bored. And I'll tell you what, I am so sick of hearing about this freaking impeachment thing. It's driving me nuts. But I just try to ignore it. You know, that's what I do. Even Q said it won't be boring for too much longer. Q just said that in a, in a, in a post. 
There was no evidence, no facts, there's nothing. This was not gonna end well for the Democrats. The Patriots set them up and ready to spring the trap. It was coming. Q 